Hi, this is Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric. What are these pile of parts here? I'm here today to talk to you about the 800, 900, and 1,000 triple Articats from 1993 to 2002. Which ignition components you can switch and swap and why, and which ones you can't and why. And then also, just to show you a few dimensions on some of these, so if you have a component and you want to know, well, what is this from? I don't know if this, which ignition this is from. I'll give you a few measurements today on some of these parts so you know what uh, ignitions your component goes to. So today I, we've got the big pile of parts in front of us. We've got stator, CDI boxes, f and uh, the, the stator mounting plates, and then our flywheels. We'll start with flywheels. Long story short, ZRT 800s, 900s, and 1000s from 1993 to 1999 basically use one flywheel. Uh, in the difference between the two flywheels, I'll show you in one second here. But this is what the flywheel looks like. This is the back side. So when you pull off your, uh, your, your flywheel cover and all that, this is what you see. And then you got your three bolt holes here. Here's our key uh, slot where our uh, key goes in. And then our uh, little uh, uh, steel pickup areas on the outside of the, the flywheel that go by your pulser coil. Your pulser coil sits on top of your flywheel housing so it, when it goes by it, 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 it excites that coil sends the uh, sends that electrical pulse to the CDI box tells it when to fire so there's three of them one two three you've got timing lines on here also so we look at uh, basically the 93 through 99 flywheel and we've got most of those just have the four magnets inside I've been told some of the 98s actually had six inside but a majority of the 93 through 99 have four on the inside and you can see how thick they are. Now I'll show you the 2000 to 2002 3D. This one has, and this is just the, the key right here, I just left it inside, but it's got six magnets. You can see how much thinner these magnets are. And then on the outside, you can see this has holes in it, uh, and then the three holes, just like the other one for the bolts and our, our key slot and so forth. So now if you have two flywheels and you want to know well it's got the three uh, steel sections, ray sections here for the pulse of coil also timing marks. So if you've got a flywheel and you want to know you know without looking part numbers and so forth which is which, how to tell them apart, very simply even just by looking at them the edge on this you can see how it's rounded the 2000 to 2002s have a rounded edge. The other ones here, 93 through 99, it's basically kind of squared off. It's got more or less like a plate on here, and it almost looks like a plate that's uh, attached. I don't know if they, you know, braze these, whatever, but attached to the a flywheel here. So you've got this definite, like a 90 degree edge on this. Now, dimensionally, if you wanted to measure these real quick, you could take a pair of calipers and measure uh, ID, OD, and so forth on these. And on these flywheels, the 93 through 99, the four magnet here, our uh, OD on that is basically, and I've measured all these before, but if you wanted to do this, it would be 4.79, ID 3.72. When I say ID, I'm measuring uh, from magnet to magnet on the inside here, basically like a 3.72. On the 2000, the OD is 4.70 so it's it's very close to the other one and the ID is 3.95 so with these smaller uh, with the smaller magnets in here there's actually a little bit more of an air gap in here so if we take we take a measurement here the ID on the 2000 to 2002 and then we pick up a 1993 through 1999 you'll see it's larger the 2000 to 2002 ID is larger with the magnet size and this will not fit inside there. So that's dimensionally uh, another way you can check these if you're not sure of anything else. Alright, so our flywheels are done. Now let's take a look, obviously because the flywheels are slightly different, the stator mounting plates, we'll take a look at those real quick. And very similar if you look at them just visually, and I have these marked, 93 through 99 stator mounting plate, 2000 to 2002 uh, stator mounting plate, and you can see by looking at them visually that they're just a little bit different as far as, you know, you can 
you got this little this uh, extra material here, extra material here that's not on this unit, and uh, the little cutout here, and this is a cutout here where this is you know all flat. There's no uh, I say cutout, but it's uh, formed that way, cast that way. And dimensionally, uh, and you can see how this is a th little bit thinner wall here. This is thicker, but dimensionally, we can take a look at these real quick. If you had, if you had one and you wanted to know what it was just by measuring it, and I measured all this before, but the uh, the mounting plates, the ID is the same. You measure the ID on these, and the ID. I'm sorry, I was off screen there, but the ID, the center of these, is the same. Now the OD. On the 1993 to 1999 unit, this we basically have 1.37, and when I say OD, we're just measuring the outside of the ring here, so like a 1.37. The OD on the 2000 to 2002 is 1.49, so it's larger. So we look at you know our, our 2000, or I'm sorry, 1993, 1999 dimension and it's too small so that is a larger dimension on the uh, like I said, the overall size of these the overall is uh, basically about four inches and they're both the same so if you do like just an overall OD on the whole outside it's about like I say they're both about four inches so as you can see and we'll take a look at the staters just real quick here you get a stator this is a 1993 and this is just a junky one loose wires here and so forth but uh, 1993 to 1999 stator mounts on top of here you know it fits 1993-99 stator on a 2000-2002 stator mounting plate will not fit it's a little bit too large for it to fit so that will not go on that mounting plate now of course the 2000-2002 stator fits on this one like it's supposed to so it fits on there although I've got this stuff hitting back here I need to flip it over to actually make it mount on there correctly but so it snaps down fits on there tight and then the 1993-1999 it will it will go you know around the 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 idea this here whole locations actually will fit so it'll actually kind of mount on there but there's, there's an air gap here in the center and uh, it will not fit tight so you'll some guys might set that on and just think everything's fine and hunky-dory but it's actually not the right stator mounting plate for that stator all right looking at staters this is a 2000 to 2002 stator this is a 1993 to 1999 stator here so visually just looking at them you can see the difference as far as some of the electrical connections the 1993-1999 you've got uh, one two three four five six seven of these lighting coils and then on this unit one two three four five six seven eight nine lighting coils two ignition coils on the 2000 to 2002 you can see how these are soldered onto these leads it's got this little plastic uh, raised area here where the connections are this one doesn't the wires go straight to the the coils themselves so visually just looking at them you can even tell a difference between them if you needed to measure one if you had no idea you said, oh they just look too too familiar I can't tell if you wanted to go ahead and measure them, the IDs, the inside diameters on these are going to be a little bit different. The 1993 to 1999, we measure these, basically get like a 3.72, and I'm going inches here, so like a 3.72. And then if you take that same measurement and come to the 2000, 2002, you can see that it's smaller. It, the uh, 2000 to 2002 inside diameter is larger than the 1993 through 1999. So the uh, inside diameter on the 2000, 2002 is basically like a 4 point, um, oh, I'm sorry, 3.95. And the, the two, I'm sorry, the 1993 to 1999 is a 3.72. Outside diameter, you could even measure that for, for giggles if you wanted to. But outside diameter on both of these is just about the same. This is the four point, uh, basically a 4.7. And then the 1993 to 1999 is also a 4.7. So that's how every once in a while I get a guy who puts the wrong stator 
on the wrong ignition and he thinks it's okay you know because the flywheel still go around it it's you know it kind of fits you know there's nothing rubbing but it's the wrong part wrong for that particular ignition system <laughs> <laughs>